The inspectors visited seven restaurants in Dongcheng District, checking the smoking ban posters, the lobby area, as well as the private dining rooms. Some customers don't know about the new law, but they accept it when we disobey them, and then they smoke outside. Maybe things are going smooth in the lobby area, but it seems not an easy task to supervise the private dining rooms. To be honest, some customers book the private dining room because they would like to smoke while having dinner. We have to persuade them to follow the rules and insist that we can't break the law. The smoking ban, which has been effective since June the 1st, prohibits smoking in all indoor public places, workplaces, and on public transport in Beijing. Individuals caught smoking in public places could be fined some 32 U.S. dollars, while businesses will have to pay up to $1,600 for failing to discourage smoking on their premises. The ban also indicates that business owners and supervisors are responsible for indoor smoking behaviors. For the places we have checked, restaurants are the most difficult area to supervise. The rate of smoking indoors is very high in restaurants, particularly in private dining rooms. I hope the restaurant association and the business owners should take action to control it. As the world's largest tobacco maker and consumer, China has more than 300 million smokers, almost on par with the population of the U.S. Another 740 million people are exposed to secondhand smoke each year.